Well, good afternoon, everybody. As you could tell, I'm absolutely thrilled to be back here with you all. For some of you who don't know me, my name is Stephanie Bitchison. I am the world's greatest fact checker and also the author of the blog Southern Comfort and Chatter. And I am also the newest board member of the After Wrath Foundation. That's A F T E R W R A T H, After Wrath Foundation, where our slogan has always been if you need help, we'll be here for you, maybe. Um, I, as the uh, author of the world's greatest dumpster fire, you know, I, I consider it a, a, a duty to come on here and speak to my fans every now and then. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, I have my moderator, uh, Back Alley Sally. She's sitting across from the table from me here monitoring comments. So please, no trolls. Uh, Back Alley is a old friend of mine, and, and she will take care of you if you want to troll me. So please, none of that. Uh, today, I want to... Uh, Go as the title says, uh, uh, explain some right ways to protest uh, if you're going to go out and protest Scientology. Uh, because I know everybody's been doing it wrong, and, and I will explain that further uh, through a letter that a fan wrote me, which I'm always grateful to get my fan letters. But first, before I begin today, I have to read my usual disclaimer that the uh, lawyers spent a lot of money on lawyers to uh, write this disclaimer and I just need to read it before I begin for legal reasons. Disclaimer, the statements I make here are only opinions or my opinions of opinions, whether they be my opinions of my opinions or my opinions of others' opinions of my opinions. My opinions or my opinions of my opinions in no way reflect the opinions or opinions of opinions of the After Wrath Foundation or the opinions of board members who have their own opinions. Please be advised that this disclaimer also applies for any future viewing of this video, even if said video, uh, said viewing occurs on the fourth Tuesday of April on every other leap year during a full moon. So now we got all the legalese out of the way. Uh, I continue to light up the internet, and uh, you'll have to excuse me today. I uh, I got uh, injured just a little bit before I begin this uh, video. Uh, I always like to take a little uh, nip of southern southern comfort before I begin. You know, it gives me uh, moves me from being. Uh, uh, just a plain mean individual to just a miserable in individual. But anyhow, I was reaching for my bottle of Southern Comfort and I got distracted. Uh, and uh, I know you, you people have done this before. I bumped the top of the bottle and it started to tip over and I lunged for it. And uh, I jammed my index finger into the uh, simulated granite on my. Uh, kitchen countertop and uh boy it hurts you know being as i'm an expert on everything uh, i know that a lot of you played sports in school and that and if you were playing basketball or volleyball sometimes you'd jam a finger and uh the coach would take those fingers and take that injured finger and tape them together like this no 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 that's not the right way to do it you just take this one finger and you wrap it up. No need to use the other finger for a splint. And uh, see, it'll hold it straight, leave it on there for a couple of days, and it'll be fine. What's that, Sally? I'm shooting the bird. No, 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 I'm uh, Sally. My, my moderator back, Sally Alley, is pointing out that I'm shooting the bird to people just like. Uh, Jenna Miscavige drew that bird in front of the Scientology flag building. 
couple of weeks ago. No, no, no. This is I'm showing people how to take care of an injury properly. And besides, <laughs> rules are for little people. All right. Let's get right down to it. I got some fan letters here I'd like to read to you. And then the last fan letter will move directly into what I wanted to talk about today. But let's just see what else is happening out there in the world of Stephanie Bishop. So here's just a sample of some of my great fans who write me. First letter. Dear Stephanie, I am one of your biggest fans. It's an honor to write you. I know how you feel. I have a question. We all know David Miscavige is four foot thirteen. Would it help if he took human growth hormones? Sincerely, Willie Stroker. Well, Mr. Stroker, uh, you know, I appreciate your letter and everything, but I'm not gonna body shame anybody. Even if David Miscavige is only four foot thirteen. So, but anyhow, thank you for your letter. Uh, here's the next one. Uh, Dear Stephanie, as the world's greatest fact checker, could you please solve a mystery? Is it Aaron Levin Smith or Aaron Smith Levin? Signed, Wanda Wank, uh, Wanda Wank Anchor. Oh, thank you, Miss Wank Anchor, for your kind letter. You know, as the world's greatest investigative fact checker, there's often confusion online about whether his name is Aaron Levin Smith or Aaron Smith Levin. Now, I know a lot of his friends. He claims on his own videos that his name is Aaron Smith Levin. I know that all of his friends call him Aaron Smith Levin. But it's a lie, I'm telling you, because... As the world's greatest fact checker, I went to the best authority on ex-Scientologists that there is, my dear friend, Marty Rathman. And Marty swears up and down that it's Aaron Levin Smith. So I'm going to go with Marty on this one. He's my pal. All right, so we got that one settled. Next letter. Dear Stephanie philosophical question oh good i love those you know i'm a deep thinking person if nothing else uh philosophical question if a person writes a blog and no one reads it did it really happen sincerely roger rotten crotch well roger uh thank you for your question and uh Let's move on. The final letter is what I really wanted to get to today. Because this this will uh, answer some questions. You know, I, I critique the uh, way people protest Scientology and told them they weren't doing it right. But I didn't really tell them the right, uh, the right way to do it. So I'm going to clear that up today. So uh, here's the letter. Uh, Dear Stephanie, thank you for being the world's greatest fact check. Thank you. It's a tremendous cross I bear. You recently wrote a blog. Oh, it's, it's one of my uh, 20 readers. Thank you. Uh, you wrote about the wrong way to protest. What is the right way? Yours truly, Twitchy Tim. Okay, Tim, thank you for your letter because uh, that gives me an opening to go into much deeper the thoughts. Now, I'm going to give you some examples of things that I see online of people hollering or saying during protests. And, uh, and a, a few of them I'll explain why it's the wrong thing to say. Uh, and then I will tell you the right way to do it. There's one sentence you only need to use with these people, and they'll walk away. But just to prove my point, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a few examples of things people do say at these protests. Uh, I've written up 10 different things here. 
uh, that you would might hear. Uh, number one, it's a cult, or if you speak Spanish, es un culto. Uh, for our Hispanic friends out there, this is the absolutely the wrong thing to say. Let's say you walk up on some Sea Org members, and they have a table set up, and they're trying to sell Dianetics books, and every person that comes by, you holler, don't buy a book from them. It's a cult. Well, these poor people running this book stand, they're not going to be able to sell any books. And that guy's that guy trying to sell books is going to hold that against you for the rest of your life because the next thing you know, this poor Jamoke is going to be downstat and he's going to be uh, scrubbing toilets in Brisbane. So uh, it, it, he's going to hold it against you the rest of your life. Don't use that. Uh, number two, children can't consent. Well, that doesn't really work either. Uh, stop elder abuse? I mean, what what's that all about? Come on, let's get real here, folks. Stop destroying families. Now, you don't want to make somebody feel guilty that they've destroyed their family. You know, they're going to remember that. and They're going to carry that guilt. And then if they do ever happen to, to leave, then they're going to be coming to us for counseling. And we're going to have to turn them down, as usual. So, don't use that. Hold on to your wallets. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Okay. Number six, what about Danny Masterson? You know, your average Scientologist is too busy getting clear to care about Danny Masterson. Remember Lisa McPherson, number seven. You don't want to bring this up. Like I said, they're way too busy uh, going up the bridge. Please don't bring that up either. Eight, end Scientology tax exemption. Uh, you know, I don't think that does any good at all. They have plenty of money in the bank. Uh, number nine, drawing juvenile chalk art. You know, this is the craziest thing. I went over this, and even though Back Alley Sally accuses me of flipping the bird, uh, I'm not. Uh, you know, drawing things like that and, and with these little slogans and things in front of uh Scientology or is just going to get those people mad at you because now they got to go rent a pressure washer from Home Depot and God knows what else and spend till midnight washing off this shock art. Number 10, bite me. Uh, don't use this phrase because that's a phrase exclusively to me, which I use to uh, troll people on Twitter and wherever I appear. You know, you, you, uh, so leave that expression to me. Okay, now let's have a real frank discussion here, people. You want to know the one phrase you can use on somebody that will get them to leave Scientology, and it will destroy Scientology basically overnight. Okay, let's set up a scenario here. You see a Sea Org member walking down the street. You walk up to him and say, excuse me, sir. I really respect your religion and everything, and I know you probably gained a whole lot out of it. And and I realize that you could probably tell me about all the happy times you've had in it. But did you know that Scientology lies in their press releases and in their articles in their magazines? Well, he will be automatically dumbfounded and outraged and he will throw down his Dianetics book and he will walk away guaranteed and take this from me even though I've never gotten my butt out there and protested because this is how you do it so I hope this clears up a lot of questions we need more love out there people and I'm here to spread that love and I hope you all have a good day. Grab you a big old charge of Southern Comfort, which I'm going to do right after this. Broken finger and all. 
and I hope you have a wonderful day and a wonderful tomorrow. And this is your old buddy Stephanie saying bye-bye.